I am gardening in the Sierra Foothills, zone 9A. And I've looked at my From Seed to Spoon app. It's an app on my phone. It gives me a rough estimate uh, for planting calendar-wise. And it takes your frost date, and it pretty much creates a schedule based on that. I've got some zucchini. I've got three zucchini plants in the garden. And up to this point, we've been doing really good as far as harvesting it and eating it as it develops. We're not letting it get humongous and overwhelming us and creating that typical, what you know, given the whole neighborhood zucchini. I've got some zucchini I want to plant and looking at the app it gives me the end date of August 20th. So if I keep planting up until August 20th, 60 day from seed to harvest, that gives me August, September, October, basically the beginning of November, um, I should be viable. So I want to get that in the ground because it's, it's time. Something needs to happen with those. On top of that, I've also got some New England uh, sugar pumpkins and they're edible pumpkins. They have been sitting in these little pots for days on end and it's just one of the things that have kind of been swept to the wayside and it's gotten away from me. So I got to get those in the ground, yada yada, excuses, excuses. There's just things that it's hard for me to keep up on. So it's like, I'm, I'm really feeling the pressure. It's like, get this stuff in the ground or watch it die in front of me and like, look at all this wasted time and effort. So these are the established zucchini. They're doing really well. We've had a couple of meals out of them. And like I said, we've just been staying on top of them. We're not letting them get crazy large and getting away from us. It's like, they're ready, we pick them. Like this one here, I'm not gonna let this one get too much more bigger. I would say maybe two or three days from now, I'll be picking that, two, three days tops, we'll be picking that and eating it. Um, now I've got seven more zucchinis that I sp sprouted from seed uh, within the last two weeks. So. I'm going to plant these as close as possible. Now, when I came out here and did these, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm kind of a little too close with these zucchinis, the ones that are established, but really I think it, it was good spacing. So many times I look at these instructions on spacing guidelines and I just feel like it's overkill. I want to plant this stuff as intensively as possible, make the most out of the space that I have that I can possibly get. So my seven zucchini should bring me roughly to about where my pumpkins are going to start. And I look at these pumpkins and I think, yeah, this is really close, intensive planting here. But these plants have seen way better days. There's no way to sugarcoat this. These things are not looking so great. Um, but they do have some, I've got some good, some good green there still on it. I, I'm just hoping that I'm still in the time zone to where if, as long as I get these things in the ground right now, I'll still have a decent um, return on these. Even though these look like they're super close and I know they're gonna sp wanna sprawl out everywhere. Same thing with the watermelon. But here, I need to do a little touch up on the watermelon, but these watermelon, they wanna do the same thing. They go everywhere. So every day that I come out here, um, it's real simple. I just like come up here, cause this stuff, it'll go. I mean, if you let it, the next thing you know, this'll, this'll be three or four beds over. But all I do is just come out here Simple as that. Just keep doing that every time I'm out here. And it just kind of like, just keeps spiraling itself on top of itself. And I've done this the last three, four years, two, three years, and it works great. It keep, keeps the aisles clean. And I really have a lot of intensive watermelon planting in this one aisle, and it just stays right upon itself. All right, so I got my zucchini. We got pumpkins, let's get them in the ground. Everything is planted, fingers are crossed. Now this, I don't know what to think about this. I really don't know what it is. Um, I'm perplexed, but we'll let it go for a little while before I decide to yank it, if I decide to yank it. Otherwise, we'll just see what happens. Got all the pumpkins planted. Got all the zucchini planted. Y'all come back now, you hear?